waste out of the landfills, the plastics, the styrofoam, sewage sludge, even old automobiles and tires, and convert it into power is a prospect that could revolutionize our energy future. The energetic EJ2 is the next generation of biomass gasifiers, an innovative technology that's making cost-effective, efficient waste-to-energy production a reality. It's a game changer. It's disruptive technology, and, and people have been trying to, uh, to crack this nut for over 100 years, and the technology has really been the hang-up for a very long time. The EJ2 is unlike any other biomass gasification system in the world today. It can turn an array of industrial and municipal waste, as well as agricultural feedstocks, into a valuable energy source in the form of syngas. We're taking energy that's currently stored in landfills and we're putting it to use. We're putting it into our system and making useful, positive energy with it. Gasification is the thermal conversion of a solid feedstock into a gaseous feedstock with the lack of oxygen. With the EJ2 gasification system, the raw material or feedstock is fed into the hopper. It then undergoes pyrolysis. It's heated without oxygen to break the material down. As it's heated, it boils off the volatiles, separates the volatile carbon from the fixed carbon. The goal here is to minimize the production of tars, which can foul the process. The thing with tars is they're very difficult to deal with. Um, they're mostly hazardous because of the compounds that are in them. In most cases, once they're formed, they're very difficult to re form those back into usable syngas, and there's a lot of potential energy sitting in the tars. This is where the energetic EJ2 shines. This advanced gasification system produces little, if any, tar. This system does that by preheating the material and then thermally reforming them in a specific way so that tar formation can't occur, both temperature and material separation. The ability to operate at temperatures high enough to crack tars without having elaborate refractory, uh, without having elaborate heat exchangers, and a lot of other peripheral equipment that allow the gasifier to run in those temperature ranges. It is elegant in its design simplicity. The result is an unparalleled syngas product, ease in manufacturing and lower cost production. From pyrolysis, the material moves into thermal reforming, where it's heated to an extremely high temperature to produce usable syngas. That then goes to the cyclone, which drops the char and ash to the bottom, and the syngas goes to the top. The quality is exceptional with this technology. Very few tars are produced. There's very few solids carry over. The predominant gases are carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Syngas is a carbon monoxide, hydrogen-rich gas that can be used to generate electricity to produce other chemicals or as transportation fuel. Syngas has, has a vast number of uses. It, it has been converted catalytically into methanol since 1920. And it's the fundamental building block of almost every compound that we encounter in our daily lives. We use our syngas currently in our, in our operations here. We're running it into a, a gas generator. It's a simple natural gas generator. There's been no modifications. We have more than 3,000 operating hours on that generator set without changing a spark plug or, or even cleaning the carburetor out. The syngas created through the energetic EJ2 gasifier is a clean, ready-to-use product on first pass. It costs less to produce syngas than natural gas and it can easily integrate into existing natural gas infrastructure. Basically, you can take the syngas that we produce and treat it exactly like you do natural gas and uh, essentially have a replacement natural gas for communities that, that, that don't have access to gas. The energetic EJ2 is a breakthrough in waste to energy technology. It offers communities around the globe an opportunity to clean up landfills, to reclaim that land and create a profit stream from the waste. What we're able to do is, is per ton of waste that's going into a landfill currently, we're able to create what's the equivalent of one megawatt of electricity and that, that's fairly substantial. The EJ2 can reduce the current volume of landfill waste by roughly 90%. So what that means is if we're taking 100 tons 
of, of municipal solid waste, we're reducing it to 10 tons of a carbon ash byproduct. The carbon ash byproduct can also be reused for soil remediation as a concrete aggregate and as a coal replacement in coal-fired power plants. It's also non-toxic if it is disposed of, unlike much of the waste now clogging our landfills that can leach into the groundwater and contaminate the environment. This ash is, uh, in fact, non-hazardous and uh, every, everything we've tested with it has been able to pass T-clip, which means it's, uh, it's okay to, to dispose of it in a, a traditional landfill. The EJ2 is completely contained. There are no pollutants from the gasification process and the exhaust from engines running on syngas is largely water and carbon dioxide. The energetic EJ2 is changing the waste to energy landscape with a novel design that makes it more affordable than ever to generate power from virtually any type of industrial, municipal, or farm waste. The other thing is, is that there's a lot of potential energy just sitting there not being used. Um, that can solve a lot of problems as far as, as the availability of electricity and price. And in areas like China where they have a huge demand for electricity, but there aren't a lot of sources that's providing electricity. This hybrid gasification technology converts more energy per pound of waste with nominal tar output and low capital costs. The energetic pilot facility in Denver, Colorado is producing more than two tons of quality syngas a day. It is independently verified, inexpensive to construct, easy to install and operate with off-site monitoring. We'll be able to monitor plants all over the world here in Denver at, at our headquarters and make sure that the, the equipment is, is operating at an optimal performance level. The energetic EJ is the future of waste to energy, an environmentally friendly solution to the world's growing supply of garbage. The first thing you're doing is you're lowering your carbon footprint. So, so you're taking the life cycle of a product and you're, you're reusing that, reinvesting that energy that went into that product. It is a lower cost gasification process designed to clean up our landfills, to restore that land and turn waste into a profitable source of power.